Tesla's autopilot feature is facing scrutiny from federal investigators right now. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration is working to figure out why Teslas that were using autopilot crashed into stopped emergency vehicles at least 11 times over the past few years. This federal inquiry covers an estimated 765,000 Tesla cars. For more on the investigation and where the focus will be, we're joined now by Ahmed Banafa, engineering professor at San Jose State University. Professor, always good to have you on here. I, I know that you have been suggesting for quite some time that there needs to be an investigation like this into Tesla's autopilot system. Now there's been at least 11 of these similar crashes. I'm wondering why it took this long and, and what you hope comes from this investigation. Well, it's it's really a good start, and this is about time. Uh, we uh, we have this been going on for many years, and and the problem now is the accident or the problem with the autopilot is hitting the people outside the car. It's not just the drivers that they're losing their life. There are people outside that. My, you know, uh, I mean, the best outcome of this one is Tesla will go back and check the software and the hardware and do something about it. There's also it also sounds as though federal investigators are going to be looking at something that they term operational design domain. So this is w when a driver is allowed to use the autopilot feature. And it sounds as though uh, with with these Teslas, there, there are no limitations on what sort of scenario you can put the car into the autopilot mode. Why, why is that important and, and potentially problematic? Oh, it's very important, you know, I'm glad you mentioned this point because we are at level two of the autonomous universe. It's from zero to five. When you talk about autonomous cars or autopilot, people think about the level five, which is basically the car can be run by itself. So there is a disconnect between the term itself, autopilot, and the application and the, the, the you know, let's say that the, uh, the, the risk uh, that taken by, by having this in mind about this car can run by itself. Uh, it, the, the the safety agency, they say that there is no car now in the road that can run by itself. You need the driver to be part of the process. Yeah, we, we do not have driverless cars yet, and this is obviously an important reminder of that. Uh, do you expect that, that once this investigation wraps up, the federal government will recommend some specific fixes to try to improve the, the automated driving features and the driver assistance technology with Teslas and maybe with other cars? And what, what might those fixes be? Well, I mean, it's two level. Now they do the investigation, and after that, then they're going to do the engineering, you know, investigation, and then it's going to it could go to the recall. Now we are looking at 765 cars from Tesla, which is about 50 percent of what they have produced so far. That's huge for them. If it's just an on-air update that Tesla can do, that's not going to be expensive. But if it is a hardware problem, something has to do with their machine learning and the camera, then it's going to be very expensive. And this is all signals to to the other manufacturer to be careful about it. You cannot say this is an autopilot or a autonomous car. We are not there yet. Uh, big picture here. Tesla CEO Elon Musk continues to sort of hint at this notion that someday in the not too distant future, we will have cars that will, in fact, drive themselves. Given the issues that are going to be raised here by this federal investigation, realistically, how, how far off are we from that being a reality? Well, we're looking at, looking at 10 years from now, given that the advancement in machine learning and in the AI. The problem with Tesla is now they are using a camera, and this camera has to be trained on you know, millions of pictures of different objects. It's got a problem with parking cars and perpendicular cars. They couldn't recognize this as an obstacle. So once we get to the point where we have better understanding of the, you know, of the environment outside, the autonomous cars or driverless cars, it's, it's, it's going to be very close. All right, still a long ways out here uh, and a lengthy federal investigation to come here into Tesla's autopilot feature. Appreciate you coming on today to break all of this down. That's uh, Ahmed Banafa, engineering professor at San Jose State. Thanks for doing it.